So today's video is going to be me talking about my favourite jeans, the best fitting jeans in my opinion that you can get from the high street. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So my name is Josh, if you don't know I make like fitness and fashion videos, really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. So today's video is going to be me talking about my favourite jeans, the best fitting jeans in my opinion that you can get from the high street. So the brands that I'm going to be comparing, we've got ASOS, Topman, Pull&Bear, Blue, Ripped, Black, all different colours and yeah I just want to talk to you like about the fit, my favourite ones, what size I get and like which ones are lasting the best and, and stuff like that just so you can then go out onto the high street, pick up a nice pair of jeans and then not have to worry about them like shrinking in the wash or um, just like getting damaged or fading because you don't want faded jeans it's just not ideal right so I wear 34 waist 32 leg in all jeans because I'm um, I go to the gym quite a bit of train legs so I've got quite big legs quite big glutes but like my waist is my waist like I've measured it and it's a 32 inch waist but I just have to wear a belt I always have to wear a belt with jeans which is quite, quite annoying it's just one of them things in it, so just have to get over it. But the first pair of jeans is Pull and Bear. So I got these from the ASOS website. If you check out my ASOS clothing haul, I'll put the link up here. That I went through a massive clothing haul and then I got quite a few pairs of jeans. These Pull and Bear ones are 22 pounds. As you can see, like they're like a light blue wash. Pretty nice. Like I, I, I got them and was like. 22 pounds for these like are you actually being serious like, that, that is an absolute bargain i'm not gonna lie that is, that is a bargain and um, you can roll them up if you want um wear a belt like i said but yeah they'll go with go with mainly everything good quality i've only washed them a few times so far they seem to be sticking so it's always good wearing pretty well the next pair of jeans we've got top man super spray on and these have got like a bit of a rip in them so like a dark blue with a rip in the knee. I really like these ones. They're just, they're really, really, the ones from Top Man, right? They're extremely stretchy, like really, really stretchy. It's like, it's like you're wearing like kind of like gym leggings. I know, I know I'm not a girl, but gym, just like gym kind of leggings. Do you know what I mean? So when you like squat down, like it just feels like there's nothing. I'm wearing them now and they're just like so comfy. Probably the comfiest out of the five pairs are the top man ones. So I think these retail at around forty pounds. If I'm if I'm right, thirty-five to forty pounds. The pull and bear ones are twenty-two. So they're a little bit more expensive, but to be honest, it's still cheap. If you go out and get a pair of designer jeans, that's going to cost you up over hundred pounds, maybe maybe upwards of that. I know diesel jeans can be really expensive. So the next pair we've got is an ASOS pair. Again, this is a super spray on, just from ASOS. It's like a dark indigo wash. And when I tried these on, I've also had these on the clothing haul. And um, I thought, bloody hell, these are like my favorite. Like really, really nice, dead comfy. Um, I think they retail at around 28 pounds. So again, dead cheap, second cheapest. If you're looking for a pair of jeans, like just go to the ASOS website, have a look through. There's so many different designs and stuff. There's like ripped, black, grey, blue, light blue, stone, just so much choice and variety and it's just a good price as well. Um, but yeah, these ones I thought were amazing to start off with. Then I tried them on again and realised that I need to I need to like wear them rolled up at the cuff because they're just a little bit too baggy around the ankle and that is the only problem that I'm finding with these jeans. That's why the, there's like brands like Hair, I don't know if you've heard of like Hair of London and Legend London. They're bringing jeans out just for like people who go to the gym. So I might have to do a video on their jeans as well. And just go through the fits on there compared to like high street brands. So I'm not, I've never actually tried any of them on, but they look really good. I think they retail a bit more expensive in the 50 pounds. I really like the color, 28 pounds. It's just, it's cheap. you can get like two pairs, just roll them up, wear them with Converse, desert boots, chucker boots, Chelsea boots, casual, even smart so lots of variety fourth pair of jeans is a top man black pair and like i said before the top man ones are my favorite these ones 
are so, so tight. It's like I'm actually wearing leggings, but I, li I really like it. I don't know why. And they're really tapered at the ankle as well. These are the pair that are tight around the ankle, unlike all of the others. So I probably get the most wear out of these. They're just so comfy. Like I could just wear them all the time. The only thing is the pockets are a little bit small. That's the only thing I'd probably say. But yeah, I, I really like them. Just a plain, simple black. It goes with so much stuff as well. Like white Converse, black Converse. You can wear desert boots, chucker boots. You can wear just a pair of like Adidas trainers, Nike fly knits, um, bomber jackets, parka jackets on top. Just wear like jumpers and, and everything in it. And I think a pair of black jeans is very, very vital in any, any guy's wardrobe. So if you're looking to go and get a decent pair of jeans, maybe start off with a black pair because it is gonna go with like, with like everything in your wardrobe. You might just a white t-shirt with it and it's just gonna pop, it's just gonna look sick. Got ready for the night in. She's heading for the light. But she sees the